All right, so electrical fun on the F-350. So, uh, so first things first, the clatter issue is solved. See, look at that. Gives that nice, nice fresh buzz like we're looking for. So uh, that turned out to be uh, ridiculousness, you know, and nice brand new parts. See, looks good, everything's fine. Usually bad batteries, right, will fry these things, and that's what I think happened. You know, we've got a bad alternator. Um, all that cranking and everything that I did, I think shorted something out inside of this. I was getting good logic, I was getting the good voltage, but it would seem to get warm and it would die. And then I guess that last time, it just shit the bed. So. I put the, the shop thick a minute, which is a known good one, and uh, and it seems to be fine. Now, you know, we did, you know, poke around here a little bit and test some things. You know, we pulled this connector apart because that's where it receives its power. And uh, it was dirty, so we cleaned that out and we checked for power on both sides. We uh, checked for continuity between the Ficum connector and that connector. We changed this relay, that's the Ficum relay over here. Uh, Checked this fuse, right? Checked all in there, blew that all out. Everything seemed to be fine. This we've just got this ABS module disconnected for the hell of it, just to make more room. Um, the uh, the four x four light seems to have been a problem with the cluster, right? So, so now the four x four light is off. 4x4 four four light is on, 4x4 four four light off. So that's a different cluster we put in there. And oh, look at this too. All right, starts with the key. That turned out to be a blown fuse and uh, a little bit of junk back in here. So blew that out, stuck a new fuse in. Seems to be fine. I think we'll put it back together and we'll just do some good excessive cranking. Make sure that doesn't fail. That was the problem there. Now you got to be careful with these fuses because you know you can you can look at them and you know like okay well whatever the little things there doesn't look burnt but really what you need to do is put a you know meter on this side of it right and check for continuity. All the other fuses look good. So uh, the only other weird thing you know because really all I was screwing around with was was this uh, ICP sensor. So, uh, and that turned out to be a little bit short, so we're gonna recut that or put a new pigtail on there again, nice and long so it's not stretching. And I, I couldn't help but think that maybe had something to do with it, but uh, I don't know, I think it was just, uh, just this, this is a faulty thickum, that's all, right? And you know, usually these Align Power ones are really good, but in the end, they're all rebuilt. So, still maybe had some cold solder or something like that, that uh, if the solder would get warm, it would fail. So, I don't know. Usually I see these fail cold, but uh, in this case, seems to be that uh, it was either just intermittent, maybe just pulling it out, maybe there's a loose pin inside of it, or uh, I don't know, right? You know, everything looks fine. We take these things out all the time, but uh, nonetheless, all systems seem to be passing, so it's time to tidy this mess up and put it together and take it for another road test.